Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about thermal pollution. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So thermal pollution occurs when the temperature of a natural body of water suddenly increases or decreases. Let's talk about some causes of thermal pollution. First is soil erosion. So soil from the surface is removed due to heavy rain and wind and the water becomes more exposed to the sun. Due to this, the temperature of the water body increases. Next, water is the cooling agent sometimes. So industries use water from nearby sources to keep their machines cool and in return release back extreme heat into the water bodies. The industries that deal with electricity generation and some other industries like paper, sugar, textile and pulp industries emit heat in water. Nuclear power plants release a massive amount of heat and harmful radioactive waste into nearby water bodies causing an increase in water temperature. Hydroelectric power generation also enhances the water temperature. Domestic and municipal sewage discharge into the water bodies increases the temperature. Deforestation. So actually plants protect water bodies from direct exposure of sunlight. And deforestation causes water bodies to be exposed to sunlight which increases the temperature. Natural causes such as volcanoes, geothermal veins, hot springs, they increase heat of water bodies. Now let's discuss about effects of thermal pollution. Decrease in dissolved oxygen levels. So when temperature of water bodies increases, the bonds of oxygen molecules breaks down and it leads to reduction of dissolved oxygen which affects fishes and marine ecosystem. Next is increase in toxins. So water is returned back from industries which contains toxic chemicals that affects marine ecosystem alters the water properties. So thermal pollution changes the properties of water and the food supply of water creatures gets disrupted. Loss of biodiversity. So warmer temperature in water bodies causes various effects. Like animals shift their habitat from one place to another. The warmer temperature kills various aquatic organisms. The reproductive system of aquatic animals get altered, like immature eggs are released, healthy development of eggs get interrupted, enzyme activity in water animals increases, it increases the metabolic rate of them due to which the animals need to consume more food. Food chain gets altered and all of these result in loss of biodiversity. Next we will talk about some control measures for thermal pollution. Cooling ponds and cooling towers help the areas where a tremendous amount of heat is released. Recycling of heated water for domestic purposes and industrial heating may help. Artificial lakes can be a solution where heated substances can be discharged from one end and cold water can be mixed from the other end. The heated water can be released in less vulnerable areas. Tree 
plantation is an economical method to treat thermal pollution. Since electricity production is also involved in thermal pollution, we can save electricity to control it. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.